Fracking. It's been in the news a lot recently, especially if you're from the Northern Territory, like me. Some people think it's bad for the environment, while other people think it's good for the economy. So what exactly is fracking? And why is it so controversial? Fracking is something that's been going on for decades in Australia and overseas. It's a way of getting to oil and gas that isn't as easy to access. Although in Australia, it's usually gas, trapped in a kind of rock called shale. It's a flaky kind of layered rock that's made up of the remains of ancient sea floors and riverbeds, or anywhere where sand, mud and silt build up, trapping with it a bunch of formerly living things, which over a long time releases that valuable gas. Fracking usually involves drilling down, and then drilling sideways through the shale. This can go on for a few kilometres. Then little holes are punctured into the rock, and high pressure water is blasted through the holes until big cracks form. Except it's not just water. There's a little bit of acid that helps dissolve the rock and minerals, a little bit of disinfectant to help clean things out, and a mixture of other chemicals to keep things working. There's also a bit of sand, or some other grainy material. It's used to keep the holes open so that the gas can escape and flow back out the well where it's captured at the top. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? It's not. Fracking is super controversial, and for several reasons. The first reason is that it uses a lot of water, and while so do a lot of other industries, in dry Aussie towns and communities, it can make a difference. Another big worry some people have is that fracking fluid could potentially contaminate water supplies. Like we mentioned earlier, fracking fluid has some chemicals in it. Plus, it can also contain small amounts of radioactive particles that it picks up while underground. The worry is if there's ever a leak in a fracking well, the contaminated water could get out. Australian mining companies say that's unlikely and that the chemicals used here are actually pretty safe. But not everyone agrees. Then there's the issue of what to do with the fracking fluid that's left over. At the moment, it's stored in big dams or tanks and sometimes it's treated and reused. But that doesn't always happen. There are also worries that fracking could be linked to seismic events like mini earthquakes which is part of the reason why in the UK, they've just put a stop to fracking, at least for now. Then there's this. Yep, it's a river on fire. It was filmed by Greens Polly, Jeremy Buckingham, who's a vocal opponent of fracking. He reckons the gas is coming up through the Condamine riverbed, through fractures made by, well, fracking. While the CSIRO says that could have been the case, it could have also happened naturally. Fracking is banned in these parts of Australia. Victoria has put a total ban on fracking, and Tasmania has got a moratorium in place, which just means they've temporarily banned it until 2025. Fracking was also banned in Western Australia after their current Premier made it an election promise. But in 2018, 2% of their state was reopened to fracking, which might not seem like much, but it's about the size of Tasmania. Man, WA is so big. <laughs> A similar thing recently happened in the Northern Territory. The current government promised to bring in a moratorium on fracking, but just like Western Australia, they lifted the ban in 2018. Except in the NT, more than half of the territory was opened up to fracking exploration. That's a lot more Tasmania's. The moratorium on fracking in the Northern Territory will be lifted, with strict new laws to be in place before exploration or production can occur. It confused a lot of people who voted for Gunners Party and it made a lot of rural residents and Aboriginal communities worried about what control they had over their land. So, why the turnaround? Well, it seems two big reasons. Economic growth and energy security. There's a huge demand for natural gas around the world right now, partly because burning it releases less CO2 than coal does. Although there can be a fair amount of methane released at fracking wells, which some reckon actually makes it worse than coal. But in any case, everyone wants our gas. So much so that we're running out of gas for ourselves. So to keep the economy ticking over and the lights on, there's been a big push to drill more wells. Many see fracking as a way of creating jobs and resources. And they say studies have shown that it can be done safely if all the rules are followed. But some people say it's not worth the risk and that the government hasn't done enough to make sure gas companies are communicating with locals and making sure that everything's done properly. It's a debate that's not going anywhere anytime soon, but at least the next time you hear about fracking, you'll hopefully have a bit of a better understanding of what it's all about. 
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you got something out of it. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe to make sure you stay in the loop on all of the future videos we make. And while you're at it, check out the ABC Education website. It's got plenty of resources up there that are great for parents, students and teachers.